Hello there. This is Carbin T. Um, recently, I think it was yesterday, I'm not sure, uh, there was a release for XNA Lara, which is Specular Maps. Specular Maps are a wonderful thing. They help, um, they add shininess to meshes in some places and not to others. For example, you can have a wet patch of clothing or water droplets or dirt, and it would be a different level of shininess as opposed to. Uh, the rest of the skin for example you can do skin you can do anything um, so this was recently introduced into XNA Lara I'm going to show you I'm not going to show you how to make a specular map because I do not know how um, what well, I'm instead going to show you how to do in this tutorial there will be another one after this too hopefully in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to set one up just how to make one um, and that's it and show you how to put one into XNA Lara and show the results so uh, the first thing you want to do is go to the file you downloaded, Lara Jungle Short Shiny. There is a link in the description if you haven't downloaded it yet. Um, you want to convert the generic item.mesh into generic item.mesh.ascii and then open it up. Open up that file in Notepad and find this group. Um, one underscore t-shirt underscore 0 0.1 underscore 24 underscore 48 just find that. That is the only bit we're going to edit and add the speculum map to today. Um, well, the only bit I'm going to do for you guys. You're free to do whatever the fuck you want. Um, so the first thing you need to do is change this number at the beginning here into 22. 22 is the mesh number, the generic item mesh number for specular maps for a mesh without transparency. Uh, if that doesn't really make any sense, you need to be following my other tutorials to make sure this makes sense. Um, so the next thing you need to do is change this 0 0.1 here into a 1 or I'm going to do a, a 2 because last time I did this tutorial it didn't really come out very well with a 1. <laughs> so I'm just going to put 2. That's the specular amount. That means that's how shiny it is, how shiny the base mesh is. Uh, the how shiny the base mesh is. Um, and it comes out as 2 which is very shiny. I mean Lara's belt, the default belt buckle shininess is 0 0.6 I think and most clothing is 0 0.1 so 2 is very shiny I mean that's off the border in X and Lara terms but I like to use shiny values because shiny is nice so next you need to change this 6 into a 7 because you're adding an extra texture which is the the specular map and then here it says t-shirt underscore bump 2.png add a new line here and put wait for it t-shirt underscore specular dot png and then a new line and then add a zero on the new line like that you don't need to bother with the hash uv layer index thing here you can just put a zero because that bit's ignored because of the hash so just put a zero and then save it <laughs> no yeah, and wait, just give me a second. Shiny. And then save it like that. And then whilst it's saving, we'll get to work creating the specular maps because it takes quite a long time to save. So open up T-Shirt Diffuse. And here it is. Um, I made a specular map earlier like this. I just added the colours of the rainbow to make it all pretty. Um, with specular maps, I will tell you this, you don't need to add these little wrinkles and stuff. They don't need to be added to the model, uh, to the specular map, to make it look good. Because clothes don't vary their shininess depending on how many folds in the fabric there are. That's irrelevant. That's done in light maps and bumps and diffuse maps. It doesn't have, need to happen here at all. It can just be base colours like this if you want. You don't need shadows or anything like that in the specular map and if you do add shadows it will look bad in the results so it's actually better if you take them out and um, so I've just added the basic colors of the rainbow here just because it's it's fun the rainbow is nice um, and the sock section here of the texture that is Lara's socks I've made dark grey very dark grey because otherwise they'll come out quite shiny if, 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 uh, if you make them white they will come out very shiny so you just want to make it a nice dull grey colour or if you want to make the socks 
shiny gold or whatever, go ahead and do that. I mean, I'm not going to. Oh, what the hell? Why not? Cyan! No, no, I didn't want it. Oh, dear. Man, my control key's falling off. Sorry. Let's use the other one. Control Z. Right. So, yeah. There you go. That's it done. So then you want to save it as t-shirt underscore specular like you wrote in here. There it is, t-shirt underscore specular. You want to save it in that same name. Sorry, it's playing up today. Oh. Mm. Right, so just save it in there as t-shirt underscore specular. And then file or load up XMLara, however. File, add model. That's it. That's all you that's all you have to do. You don't have to do any more setting up other than that. You can just do it as it's named like that. And then find Lara Jungle Short Shiny. Open that. And when it loads you'll see Lara's new shiny t-shirt. There is a problem with her eyes in my model. There isn't in yours, hopefully, if I if I remember to edit it. Um, a nice tip that Jusen pointed out, if you make one of the light sources totally black and increase it, I think it may be a, a bug in the programming, but it doesn't require... It doesn't increase the lightness, but it does increase the amount of shininess here. So if you look, although the t-shirt is brown, as you can see, it is shiny red, which is a really lovely effect to create, and it's kind of a metallic-y effect that it creates only when under light. Which is quite nice. You can obviously you can do hidden messages if you, if you're that way inclined to write hidden messages on Lara's clothes. Or uh, in my next video tutorial, I'll show you how to create like a mirror effect for Lara's belt buckle and metal and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, and that's quite a clever effect. I mean, it's not an actual reflection that you will be shown how to do. It will just be a, a static image. But it, it's so simple and yet so effective in making the model look more realistic, really. So that's the tutorial on how to set up and create very basic specular maps on models. Um, yeah, there should be, well, check back on this video link every now and then and eventually up here there will be a link to the next video tutorial showing you how to create shiny belt buckle things. Um, so yeah, that's everything specular map wise. That this is You've been listening to Carbon T and my name is Carbon T and your name is, well, whatever your username is. And have a nice day in creating your specular... Alien Lara! Have a nice day creating your specular maps. Because they are really fun. I mean, you can do so much stuff with them. And you can make stuff look really beautiful or make stuff look really stupid. And it's just really fun to give people, like, oily skin if you want. You can give Lara, like, like she's been covered in oil or something. I mean, I don't know. The possibilities are... Not endless, but there are a, there is a large amount of possibility here. So uh, feel free to experiment as you wish, and you know, post a comment, post a video response, showing me your results, because well, they're quite cool. Specular maps are cool. So uh, yeah, so thanks, Jusen, for creating them. Hopefully, in future updates, there will be uh, 24 and 25 generic item extensions, where you don't need mask maps and bump one and bump two detail bump maps to create a specular map because that would be very useful if you could just use four textures rather than having those extra three for like for example Lara's arms don't have this extra amount of tiny detail that the clothes have it would be useful to be able to just do that hint hint if you're watching this Jusen hi that would be great and I love you I love you so yeah um anyway carbon tea out how do I how do I close this Ah.